Welcome, dear viewers, to another enlightening episode of The Word of Life. We're thrilled to have you back as we embark on a profound journey delving into the sacred pages of the Bible. Today, our quest takes us back to the very beginning, to a time shrouded in mystery and divine intervention. Have you ever wondered about the roots of your faith? about the challenges faced by our earliest ancestors and the extraordinary measures God took to preserve humanity's goodness? In today's exploration, we're peeling back the layers of history, unwrapping the secrets of the pre-flood world, a world that existed long before our modern civilizations, yet holds essential lessons for us today. Picture a time when humanity was young, when divine encounters were more tangible, and when trust in God was a lifeline amidst a world descending into darkness. Now we have a question for you. In a world that often tests our beliefs, do you find yourself questioning the strength of your spiritual foundation? If so, you're not alone. Join me in this deep dive into the ancient scriptures, and together let's uncover the timeless wisdom that lies within, guiding us through the challenges of our own lives. So, fasten your seatbelts, open your hearts, and let's journey back in time to a world where faith, trust, and God's unwavering love illuminated even the darkest corners. Are you ready to explore the pre-flood world? Excellent. Let's begin. As we open the ancient scrolls of Genesis, the very first book of the Bible, we step into a world that predates empires and technologies, a world where humanity's story was just beginning. Imagine a time when lifespans stretched for centuries and the air was filled with the whispers of divine beings. In Genesis, we meet Adam, the first man, and Eve, the first woman, living in the pristine paradise of Eden, where communion with God was as natural as the breath they took. Genesis 2 verse 7 states, And the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. God's divine touch gave life to the first human, marking the beginning of our remarkable journey. Alongside Adam and Eve, we meet their sons, Cain and Abel, their lives, like pages of a timeless novel, illustrate the early struggles and choices of humanity. In Genesis 4, verse 7, we read, Sin is crouching at the door. Its desire is contrary to you, but you must rule over it. Despite divine warnings, Cain's jealousy led him astray, resulting in the first tragedy, the murder of his own brother, Abel. This sorrowful event showcased the fragility of human nature, the struggle between good and evil that has echoed through generations. Genesis 6 verse 5 tells us, The Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. As generations passed, humanity's moral compass began to waver, Wickedness spread like wildfire, tainting the hearts of men and women. This descent into darkness paved the way for the era of fallen angels and the emergence of the Nephilim, mysterious giants whose presence intensified the world's corruption. Next, in Genesis 6, verse 12, we read, And God saw the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted their way on the earth. Despite this growing darkness, there was a glimmer of hope in the form of Noah, a righteous man chosen by God. Noah's obedience amidst a world drowning in sin set the stage for an extraordinary intervention, the construction of the ark. Genesis 6 verse 22 says, Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. The ark an awe-inspiring testament to faith and obedience became a sanctuary for Noah, his family, and pairs of animals from the impending deluge. Its construction marked the beginning of a new chapter for humanity, demonstrating the profound impact of unwavering faith and obedience to God's divine commands. In the pre-flood world, we witness the complexities of human nature, the constant battle between light and darkness, 
and the enduring importance of faith in navigating life's challenges. The lives of Adam, Eve, Cain, Abel, and Noah mirror our own struggles, reminding us of the timeless truths that echo through the corridors of history. Stay with me as we uncover the profound lessons hidden within these ancient narratives and explore their relevance in our modern lives. Now that we've journeyed through the annals of history, you might be wondering, how does this ancient tale of faith and divine intervention relate to our lives in the present day? Surprisingly, the echoes of the pre-flood world resound in our modern existence, reflecting the complexities of our human nature and the challenges we face daily. Consider the pervasive wickedness that crept into the hearts of early humanity. Isn't our world too plagued by moral dilemmas, dishonesty, and the erosion of empathy? The rapid pace of our lives often blurs the lines between right and wrong, leaving us vulnerable to the temptations that once ensnared even the earliest souls. Genesis 6 verse 5 tells us, the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intention of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Just as Noah stood steadfast amidst a corrupt world, we find ourselves amidst a cacophony of distractions, doubting the relevance of our faith in the face of modern challenges. But like Noah, we must navigate the chaos with unwavering faith and trust in God's wisdom. Think about the faith Noah had in constructing the ark, guided solely by divine instructions. In our lives, we often grapple with uncertainty, facing situations where trust in God's plan is our only refuge. Whether it's a daunting career decision, a challenging relationship, or a personal crisis, faith becomes our anchor, steadying us amidst life's storms. Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 read, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Just as the pre-flood world was engulfed in darkness, we too experience moments of despair, hopelessness, and spiritual emptiness. But in these moments we find solace in the enduring promise of God's love and redemption. The story of Noah's Ark teaches us that even in the bleakest times, God provides a way out, a reminder that His grace is boundless and His plans are beyond our comprehension. Psalm 46 verse 1 states, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Our struggles with faith mirror those of early humanity, yet the unwavering trust displayed by Noah serves as a beacon illuminating the path toward a deeper connection with God. In our fast-paced world where distractions are abundant, nurturing our faith becomes paramount. Just as Noah's faith guided him through the storm, our faith becomes the guiding light, leading us toward spiritual fulfillment, even amidst life's chaos. Continue with us as we unravel the profound wisdom embedded in these scriptures, exploring how the lessons of the pre-flood world offer us a roadmap to finding faith, hope, and strength in the midst of our own trials and tribulations. As we delve deeper into the story of Noah and the pre-flood world, we uncover invaluable takeaways that resonate profoundly with our contemporary lives. These timeless lessons serve as pillars, reminding us of the enduring significance of relying on God in every aspect of our existence. Let's explore these takeaways, each rooted in the unwavering trust Noah placed in God's divine plan. Takeaway 1. Trusting God's timing and plan. In the hurried pace of our lives, patience often wears thin. We grapple with impatience, questioning God's timing in our pursuits, relationships, and ambitions. Yet, Noah's story paints a vivid picture of divine timing. For decades, Noah meticulously followed God's instructions, unwavering in his faith, despite the societal ridicule and doubts. Isaiah 40 verse 31 reads, But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, 
They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Noah's patience and trust were not in vain. In our lives too, trusting God's timing is an exercise in faith. By surrendering our impatience to Him, we find renewed strength and resilience. Just as the floodwaters receded in God's perfect time, our trials too shall pass when we learn to trust His divine plan. Takeaway 2. Embracing Obedience and Faithfulness Noah's obedience to God's instructions, despite their seeming absurdity, exemplifies unwavering faithfulness. In a world marred by moral ambiguity, adhering to God's commands becomes our guiding light. Obedience isn't merely an act, it's an embodiment of our faith, a testament to our trust in God's wisdom, even when it contradicts societal norms. James 1 verse 22 says, But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. When we align our actions with God's teachings, we honor our relationship with Him. Obedience, coupled with faithfulness, leads to spiritual growth, shaping our character and strengthening our connection with the divine. Just as Noah's faithfulness preserved his family, our obedience became the cornerstone of God's protective hand in our lives. Takeaway 3. Finding Comfort in God's Promises In the ark, Noah found refuge and safety amidst the deluge. This ark, a symbol of God's promise, is akin to His enduring love and protection in our lives. Even in the face of adversity, God's promises serve as our sanctuary. When we anchor our faith in His assurances, we find solace and strength to weather life's storms. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20 reads, For all the promises of God find their yes in Him. That is why it is through Him that we utter our Amen to God for His glory. The promises embedded in His Word are not mere words. They are anchors for our souls. By embracing God's promises, we find comfort, assurance, and unwavering hope. Just as the ark shielded Noah from the flood, God's promises shield us, providing the confidence to face life's challenges with unyielding faith. These takeaways serve as guiding lights, illuminating our path toward a deeper, more profound relationship with God. By relying on Him, trusting His timing, embracing obedience, and finding comfort in His promises, we navigate the complexities of life with faith as our compass. Stay with me as we conclude our exploration, delving into the profound importance of fostering a genuine relationship with God. As we wrap up our journey through the pre-flood world, it becomes evident that amidst the chaos and darkness, Noah's unwavering faith and genuine relationship with God were his guiding lights. In a world where moral boundaries blurred, Noah's intimate connection with the Almighty was his foundation. This brings us to a profound realization. Fostering a genuine relationship with God isn't just significant, it's vital for our spiritual well-being and eternal salvation. In the tumultuous sea of life, God's guidance becomes our lighthouse. Much like Noah trusted God's instructions for the ark, our trust in God's guidance illuminates our way. Through prayer, meditation, and studying His Word, we deepen our understanding of His will. A genuine relationship with God allows us to discern His voice amidst the noise of the world, providing clarity in our decisions and actions. Trusting God wholeheartedly signifies our acknowledgement of His sovereignty. As we submit our plans to His divine will, we find peace and assurance, even in the face of uncertainty. Just as Noah's trust led to his family's salvation, our unwavering confidence in God's guidance ensures our spiritual and emotional well-being. A genuine relationship with God nurtures humility and gratitude within us. Recognizing His grace and mercy, we approach life with a humble heart, acknowledging our dependence on Him. Gratitude becomes our language, even in trials, as we understand that every blessing, every breath, is a gift from our Creator. First, 
Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 tells us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In cultivating gratitude, we pave the way for miracles and blessings in our lives. Humility and gratitude are the hallmarks of a genuine relationship with God, shaping our character and fostering a spirit of contentment. Just as Noah's gratitude was evident in his sacrifices after the flood, our thankfulness becomes a testament to God's goodness. God's love for us is unconditional and boundless. Embracing this love allows us to extend compassion and kindness to others. A genuine relationship with God transforms our hearts, enabling us to love even those society deems unlovable. Through acts of kindness, forgiveness, and empathy, we mirror God's love to the world. 1 John 4 verses 7 and 8 states, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is from God, and whoever loves has been born of God and knows God. Anyone who does not love does not know God because God is love. Our capacity to love others stems from our understanding of God's love for us. In a world often marred by hatred and division, our love becomes a beacon of hope. Just as God's love rescued humanity through the ark, our love has the power to transform lives and bring healing to a broken world. In summary, fostering a genuine relationship with God isn't a mere religious practice. It's a transformative journey that impacts every facet of our lives. Through trust, gratitude, humility, and love, we become vessels of God's light, radiating His love and grace to those around us. As we embrace this relationship, we find purpose, fulfillment, and eternal joy. We encourage you, dear viewers, to embark on this transformative journey of faith, seeking God with sincerity and openness. His love and grace await you, ready to transform your life and fill it with boundless blessings. And there you have it, dear viewers. What an incredible journey we've had today, exploring the pre-flood world and delving deep into the life of Noah. We hope you found inspiration and wisdom in these ancient stories, as we certainly did. Before we conclude, we want to remind you that understanding these narratives isn't just about delving into the past. It's about finding relevance and meaning in our lives today. We encourage each one of you to reflect on the profound lessons we've uncovered together. Consider how the unwavering faith of Noah amidst the chaos of his time can serve as a guiding light in your own life. Before we part ways, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude to each one of you. Thank you for investing your time with us today, for delving into the depths of biblical wisdom, and for being a part of our growing community. Remember God's love is boundless, His grace is immeasurable, and His word is a lamp unto our feet. As we navigate the challenges of our modern lives, let's hold fast to our faith, just as Noah did in the face of the flood. Seek God, trust in His plans, and let His love illuminate your path. Until next time, may God's blessings surround you, and may His peace fill your hearts.